I'm headed out to the campground today. Uh, Jim called me. You remember Jim from uh, several videos back? He's kind of the big camper guru around here. He's out at the campground right now, and he said, hey, uh, I'm out here with my group. Uh, I'll put the link to those guys down in the description. But uh, he said there's several campers out here that I think you want to kind of come and take a look at because they're uh, vintage, for one, and uh, a lot of them are pretty cool. So we're going to go take a look at them. Um, if you're getting any kind of value out of these or you just like looking at old campers, would you hit that like button? Boop. Hit the subscribe, tell a friend. It'll help the channel grow. I'd appreciate it. So uh, these are going to be glampers. So they're going to be vintage campers that are really, really decorated. So uh, just check them out. Here we've got a 1959 fan originally out of Oneida, New York. It's had a second redo on it and the original owners from New York. Then uh, I think somewhere along the line, this was taken over, they told me, to North Carolina to be used as a uh, mobile auto office, like a dealership office where the guy had a car lot. These uh, fans, they're kind of like that king that we've got over you know, on our lot where they've got those sideways windows. I think that's just so cool. Just different. I don't know, maybe stop you from hitting your head on them more, but um, let's look up there. That fan, real nice job on that. Nice uh, vintage looking awning. Let's get that in the shot. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Let's see if we can uh, go inside and take a quick look. I'm gonna check this out. Look at Indiana. Made in Indiana. First sale was in uh, Oneida, New York. Got a Bargman L66. This one's gonna have been redone for comfort. As you can see right here, big cushiony couch, bead board, lots of storage overhead. Now you can tell that the people who own this are in love because there's no door on the toilet. I don't know if I could live with that, but some people are okay with that. Let's uh, check this out. As we go around back here, look at this nice beadboard. I want to show you up here on the ceiling. As you know, I love these. These are such cool vents. Look at that. Oh, man. I better leave it alone before I break it. Beadboard uh, all through the ceiling. It's got a nice, almost like a classic oak finish on it. Here we got uh, AC to keep it. And it is nice and cool in here, but look at this bed i told you it was comfort queen size bed queen size down here down low here's the original ice box it's storage right now it's got the original handle on it look at that that is so cool but as i said comfort is the name of the game and we've got a frigidaire nice good size refrigerator here just to keep everything cold because it gets hot out here. You kind of see up here, real nice job on the countertop. Stainless sink, little copper faucet. Real nice, all in all, real nice. A little more storage up here. Let's go back outside and take another quick look. Nineteen fifty-nine fan. I'm gonna guess it to be sixteen feet in the box. In the box alone, it's just a beautiful camper. Nineteen fifty-nine fan.